Hey guys, Bob here. Uh, today we're going to do another equipment review. Today we're going to look at an AC Infinity Aircom T9 cooling unit. Now this unit is designed just to sit on top of your AV receiver or amplifi external amplifier or whatever or whatever component you're wanting to cool and uh, it works pretty neat. So I'm going to uh, show it to you real quick and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. This is the front of the unit. I'll show it to you plugged in here in a minute so you can see what all's on the display. But it's got some feet so that you uh, it isn't sitting right on top of the receiver. Then, of course, you can see three of the fans, or the three fans that are in it. Then on the back, there are two USB uh, ports where you can plug in. They make smaller uh, fan units that are USB powered. You can plug in and have on, uh, like if you want them on a game system or something like that. You can put them on there. Then there's your, where you plug in your power cord. First thing I want to do is I want to apologize that the light isn't any better down here. But this first number here is your setting on it. And I've got, it's on auto mode. I can't don't know if you can see that that says auto or not. But um, that way, whenever uh, the temperature of the receiver rises to above 85, the fan automatically kicks on. It's set for the alarm to kick on at 110 degrees. Right now the probe is saying it's at 75 degrees because it hasn't been on, so it's just room temperature. And uh, whenever the, the probe or whatever, that's the actual temperature of what it is, whenever that gets up to uh, 85, if you have it on auto, that automatically kicks on and uh, cools your unit down until it goes back uh, below the 85 degree threshold and then it'll kick off. It works a lot like a thermostat on a um, air conditioner. Um, this button here, you can switch through modes. Now it's on smart, which gives you a few more features. I never used that one. Um, then this is just on. And so it, it, where it's on constantly, I don't know if you can hear those blades going or not, but. Sorry about putting the camera up there next to it. I thought maybe you could hear what the thing sounded like. And uh, then you hit a button one more time. It's just the whole thing's off. Then you have an alarm for it only kicks on when you get to the 110 degrees. But I like to have it on auto. And uh, this button below it, it's like an economy mode where you basically turn the uh, display on and off. Now over here you have an up and down button. And that's where you adjust what you want your setting to be or what your alarm to be. Or uh, the intensity you want want your fan blades to run so i've had this unit on uh the, the receiver for my main setup for a couple of years now and um after using it for that long i have to say i'm pretty happy with it like i showed you guys uh it's got that thermostat setting on it and i just leave it and i never touch it and it has worked flawlessly um I don't know if you got very many of you guys are familiar with uh, the climate in Northwest Missouri, but uh, during this time of year, uh, June through really the first part of September, most years it's very, very humid and uh, it's hot. I mean, some, some, some years it doesn't get quite as hot, but most time it's 90 plus and uh, even with your AC going, it gets warm in there. And then of course the AV receiver generates heat on its own. So um, it runs a lot more during the summer months than during the winter months. It does run during the winter months because you watch it long enough, that thing does generate a lot of heat. I mean, it's producing a lot of energy there, but I have been very happy with that thing and Really, it was, I only paid a hundred bucks for it. I I haven't priced a new model. I don't even know if that's if what the current model is. I just bought that one for my setup, and uh, I've been happy with it. 
And if you have an AV receiver, one that you've spent a lot of money on, this AC Infinity product uh, is only 100 bucks, And I tell you, it's worth 100 bucks to keep your receiver from overheating because especially if you live in a warm climate, it would be very easy to do if you watch very, very, uh, very long movie or very many movies in a row. The best part is, like I said a little bit ago, you, you just plug it in, set it on top of your receiver, and unless you're like me and you actually uh, move, uh, you never have to touch that thing again. It, it works flawlessly, and um, if something were to happen to it, I would not hesitate to go out and buy another one. And, you know, for, I know a lot of guys have more money in their home theater setups than I do. And if you're one of those guys that has a receiver that's thousands upon thousands of dollars, that's a, that's a no-brainer. I mean, I thought it was a no-brainer for the $1,500 receiver I'm using as a, a preprocessor myself. So I've been very happy with the AC Infinity uh, cooling system. And uh, I think you guys should check it out if you have a, a home theater set up or even just a music set up where you're just listening to uh, records or CDs or streaming, but you're doing it over the loudspeakers. Well, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, like I've said in some of my other videos, my internet is finicky. I try to have a video up every day. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Um, I'll film a bunch of these videos at once. And uh, then uh, about once a week, I'll do it over the weekend or Sunday afternoon or something. And I will uh, set the uh, thing to upload it on YouTube of a morning before I go out and chore or go work, because like I say, I'm a farmer. And uh, sometimes it takes five hours to upload a video. And the internet's hit and miss sometimes it takes 30 minutes. I mean, there, I have no way of knowing how long it's gonna take when I plug it in and click, uh, click upload every morning. So I apologize about the inconsistency on that. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just search for Bob the Film Guy. And for now, this is Bob signing off.